Hello, this is Chelsea Marks, and we're going to be filming for VETT 222 Test 17, which is a fecal um, sedimentation. So we have our supplies collected here. I'm going to go ahead and note that I have my goggles, a mask, and some gloves on, as well as my lab coat to protect my body. So I'm going to go ahead and show you our supplies here. So we have some cheesecloth. We have a Dixie cup for our feces to mix in. We have a tongue depressor to mix it with. We have our centrifugation tube. We have our patient sample clearly labeled here. We have some tap water over here at the sink and we have some microscope cover glass um, once we're finished with the uh, sediment part. So we're gonna go ahead and introduce two grams of feces into the bottom of our cup here, our Dixie cup. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to go ahead and add some plain tap water. And then we're going to go ahead and mix our sample up. So you want a good homogenous mixture. You don't want any big chunks. So we're breaking up all those chunks. It's doing pretty good. Getting all the chunks out of there. Mixing it up really well. So if you leave any chunks, that cheesecloth is going to go ahead and strain that out for you. But if you don't break those uh, chunks up, you're not going to get a good representation of the sample. You might actually not get any ova if they're still stuck in the chunk of feces. So, all right. So I feel like that's pretty well um, stirred up. So we're going to go ahead and strain the mixture through the cheesecloth into our centrifuge tube. So I don't know if you can see that, but I'm straining it through. I'm gonna fill it about halfway. Okay, almost there. Cheesecloth has moved on me here. Okay. All right, so we have a sample collected here about halfway full. And we're gonna go over to the centrifuge and start spinning it. Okay, so we're back over at our centrifuge and we're gonna go ahead and start straining, um, spinning, I'm sorry, spinning our samples. So we're gonna go ahead and open up, turn the power on. We still have the settings um, because we just did another fecal. We still have the settings correct. So those are 1500 RPMs and it's going to be about three to four minutes on low. So we're going to take our counterbalance here. Looks like it's not quite even, so I'm going to dump a little bit off. Okay, so now they're even. So we're going to go ahead and set them in the centrifuge. Make sure it's tight and the centrifuge lid is locked down. And we're going to go ahead and centrifuge this for about three to four minutes. And then we'll come back and read our sediment. We went ahead and just took out our feces from the centrifuge and it looks like it's nicely sedimented so we have the sediment down there in the bottom and the supernet at the top. We're going to go ahead and pour that off um, without disturbing the sediment down on the bottom. So we're going to show you that here. So we're going to pour off the top there. Okay, and we have our sediment left in the bottom. I'm going to pour a little bit more off of that. It looks like there was still some left in there. Okay. So we have our sediment here in the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer a little bit of that sediment to a microscope slide. Okay. So now that we have that on our slide, Go ahead and put a cover slip over it and examine it. Zoom in here. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so now that we have it focused in, we're going to go ahead and move it down to the 10x. And we're looking for any large ova. So you can scan pretty quickly. So 
this is a feline sample that we got from a kitten having diarrhea, an eight week old kitten. I'm not seeing anything yet. I'm going in a up and down pattern. I think, um, the book calls this the battlement pattern. Kind of like how a search and rescue would be performed. Very meticulous in order. So I'm not seeing anything yet. Okay, almost to the end here. We're adjusting our focus as we go. Okay. So it looks like this sediment is negative for any parasites. So I'm going to go ahead and tell the veterinarian and I'm going to go ahead and mark it in the patient chart that the fecal sediment was negative. This is Chelsea Marks for VECT 222, test 17, and we're going to go over um, cleaning up our area once we're done with our fecal sedimentation. So we have our microscope here, and we have all of our dirty supplies in the middle, and we have our patient chart to record the results. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves here. Then I have my goggles on and my lab coat. So um, first, we're going to zoom in here and show you the stuff we need to get rid of and prepare the area for the next person. So we have our garbage here, which is our um, cylinder that we spun down the fecal material. We have our Dixie cup and we have our stick that we were stirring it with. So we're just going to throw that in the trash. And then turn off the microscope, remove the slide, and put that in the sharps. And then we're going to spray off our counter with the kennel saw here. So that was our disinfectant kennel saw. And we're going to wipe that up with some paper towel. Okay, that's all wiped up. And then we're going to cover our microscope here. So that's all ready for the next person. And now we're gonna record our results for that fecal sedimentation in the chart here. Okay, so um, that fecal sediment was negative on that kitten. And so we're gonna write it there here. Fecal sediment negative. Okay, so that was VETT 222, class 17.